Registered Phenomena Code 451 Object Class Alpha Yellow Hazard Types Not Applicable Containment Protocols RPC-451 is to be kept in a standard Alpha White Class storage locker at room temperatures at all times. Testing must be approved from no less than two Level 3 researchers. Due to its inert nature, it requires no active security. During testing, no less than five security personnel must be on duty, equipped with AP rounds to dispatch any possible anomalous threats. RPC-451 is a variety pack of Amazing Co. granola bars containing 20 chocolate chip bars, 14 dark chocolate chunk, and 14 peanut butter chocolate chip. The object has Try Em All written on the back of the box in a sharpie. Due to the urban location it was found in, analyzing handwriting for any POIs was considered not worth the authorities' time. Originally containing 48 granola bars, by the time of containment, RPC-451 had 43 bars remaining, missing three from chocolate, one from dark chocolate chunk, and one from peanut butter. Currently there are 40 bars left, 16 bars of chocolate chip, 12 of peanut butter, 12 of dark chocolate chunk. While uneaten and undisturbed, no anomalous properties will manifest. These bars will, however, melt as it does not seem the materials have changed from a normal granola bar. It is unknown if the properties of the granola bar can be transferred as the object melts, but this is considered a containment breach, and is to be treated as such. Only once they are digested will any anomalous properties come forward. The following are logs of testing. RPC-451 Experiment Logs Test Number RPC-451-1 Subject: CSD-2718, hereby referred to as RPC-451-1 Procedure: RPC-451-1 instructed to proceed to the table in the center of the room and eat one chocolate chip granola bar. Results: RPC-451-1 eats the bar for 5 seconds begins to report unusual sweating on his legs and arms. About two minutes later, RPC-451-1 stomps one foot on the ground, seemingly testing if the floor was sturdy and collapses. One ASF operator moves forward to verify the life and retrieve the subject, and is suddenly swept off his feet by a burst of energy and strength not previously expected of RPC-451-1. RPC-451-1 proceeded to punch down into the ASF operator, immediately collapsing his ribcage and colliding with the floor. RPC-451-1 is immediately terminated by ASF agents, expiring without incident. Notes. On further analysis on the footage, it seemed when RPC-451-1 stomped on the ground, the subject broke the cement floor, and also his foot leading to his collapse. Analysis of his corpse suggests that RPC-451-1 broke their knuckles when punching down to the ASF operator. A regrettable loss, but a very informational one, requesting a stronger testing location. Test Number RPC-451-2 Subject CSD-4867, hereby referred to as RPC-451-2. Procedure: RPC-451-2 is asked to proceed to the table in the center of the room and eat the peanut butter chocolate chip granola bar. Results: RPC-451-2 reports feeling hotter, as if they had a fever, and lighter on their feet. When asked to demonstrate their improved physical abilities, RPC-451-2 jogged around the 50 meter by 50 meter testing chamber in only seconds. When asked if this ability applied vertically as well, the subject immediately jumped in position and skyrocketed meters up to the top of the testing chamber and snapped their neck, killing the subject on the spot. Notes. It seems the subject has an awareness of the RPC's abilities when they eat it, 
but not a good grasp of how strong it is. Seeing as the subject immediately reached the top of the testing chamber, it could be beneficial to some of the ASS field operations if we can replicate it. Test Number RPC-451-3 Subject CSD-8721 Hereby referred to as RPC-451-3 Procedure RPC-451-3 is asked to proceed to the table in the center of the room and eat the dark chocolate chunk granola bar. Results See Incident Log 451-1 Notes So RPC-451 doesn't change them permanently, just until they have to go to the john. It's probably not a good idea to test all three of these together, but the lettering on the box makes it obvious that these are far more effective when used together. And for future testing, please, can we get some non-violent CSD? Incident Log 451-1 RPC-451-3 reports feeling intense pain across his entire body, and starts clawing at his skin. After a minute of this, RPC-451-3 stands up and starts to run at the ASF operators guarding the door. The ASF operators open fire at RPC-451-3 to no effect, bullets falling off of the subject as if his flesh had turned to an impenetrable substance. After two seconds of sustained fire, the commanding officer on duty ordered a full retreat behind the reinforced door. The subject, running at the pace of an average human, could not make it to the door before the squad retreated and closed the door. RPC-451-3 rammed his body into the door for the next twelve hours, pausing for short periods of rest, yet his body showed no wear or tear from the repeatedly rammings of his shoulder against the reinforced door. After this time, the subject sat against the door and pleaded to be let out. Under orders from the site administrator, the door was not to be let open, due to a lack of any confirmed method of containment. When ASF confirmed the subject's death, they found their bullets no longer repelled.